Hey guys, what is up? I'm TDC from Tonic Studios. Yes, guys, I changed the name of the entire channel to Tonic Studios for some reasons. The only reason that I can really think of at the moment is because we're not just doing gaming videos anymore. We're doing music videos, official music videos, music video trailers, all that sort of shit. And yeah, it's not just gaming anymore, so I thought Tonic Gaming didn't really fit. But now we are here with Firewatch, a really, really beautiful game. And I guess we're watching fires and in a place, yes guys, that I live like 30 minutes from. It's called Boulder, Colorado. And this is where this game is based on. And it's like, it's so cool. You, you guys will see if you understand. But yeah, guys, before I start this video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment below what games I should play next. And just, yeah, be sure to remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy this video. Let's keep, let's start the game. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. You see Julia. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder, which is the college I'm going to be going to. You, Henry, you, Henry, are drinking out with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So what's your, you know, major? You, you're pretty. This one. You are pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You are a future hangover. What? You reply confused. Someone should buy you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down her waiter, and one week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Whoa. Here we are. Backpack. This is really pretty so far. I like the bloom and like the graphics. All right. There we are. Truck door. Get in. All right, let's get in the truck, I guess. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating but gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. I'm gonna adopt the Shepherd and name him Mayhem. That's such a cute name. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the park and goes with Julia on her runs. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Mayhem is a friend, a child, and pet all rolled into one. 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer, 9.30 p.m., and the heat still radi radiates off of the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Kids? They're not very smart or good at much. I'm saying, if you and I have some. A couple little idiots. Uh, that'd be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably best for the, probably for the best that their parents are hitched. You said she's absolutely right. Look at this, guys. It's so pretty. Thoroughfare trailhead. No fireworks. God, it's so beautiful, guys. It's just, it's so beautiful. Wow. Birds and everything. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. I'm gonna ignore her. You don't touch each other all night. Then I say you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was a great. It was it was a great. It was great. You hold on to a p tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. All right. 1981. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. You frolic like a Victoria's Secret model. Julia is right. You are very pretty. Oh! I would break my ankles if I tried that, honestly. <laughs> I am not strong at all. Some dead trees. This is so pretty. Whoa! That is so beautiful. Are you guys seeing this? This is so beautiful, honestly. Like, the graphics don't even need to be that great. 
Two forks lookout tower. Eight more miles still. Space bar to climb over obstructions. Honestly though, this is this game. It doesn't have the best graphics, obviously, but it's just so beautiful. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Mayhem runs away. May moo may me moo fuck dog Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she is stressed. You confront the attacker. I'm gonna scare him away. You reach into your pocket like you've got a gun and threaten to kill him. You manage to scare all three of you. He runs away. Julia asks to take up a different path from that day forward. You say, okay, you don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids gets waylaid by work. Aww. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job, associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Uh, I'll let her have it if she communicate if you if she commutes back and forth. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him to just two days prior. She, found, she was found crying in the stairwell. You say that maybe you guys should talk to someone about it or you make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. I'm gonna say that. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from early onset dementia. Damn. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Wow, dementia? That's bad. Journal. Oh, Jesus. So pretty. <laughs> oh, God. That's so... Oh, that's so... Ugh. His dick is just like... Fucking, oh, never mind, never mind. Ma'am is getting older. He's got silver down his his back and slows down at night. You and Julia walk him to the bar to see your friends, and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. Wow. She's sent, sent home on permanent medical leave. That sucks. Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes she goes into a panic believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia to visit her. For a while your friends come by with little things to brighten her day. She gets worse. Nineteen eighty eight. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else. It's with somewhere with with twenty four hour care. A home. It sits with you for a couple of months. I'm gonna move her into a full time care facility. I feel like that's that'd be the best for her. Alright, I guess we're going. This is really pretty, honestly. I really like it. Wow. Whoa, it's an elk. It's so pretty. Got pretty asp injuries. Wow. I really like the graphics. I can't get over it. Her her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder and in Boulder and move her there. You see her every day, then every other day. You go out to the bar with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband, if you ever put me in a home like Henry did, I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide to not see your old friends that much. Oh. Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close with her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. 
Months go by. Mayhem dies. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Aw, that's so sad. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind, you believe it's because you see her less and less, and seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. <laughs> you take it. That's good. Right? I hope. Okay, we're loading into something, I guess. Oh, whoa. Enter the lookout tower. All right. Look at those clouds. Look at the sky. It's so pretty. Wow. This definitely does look like Colorado, though. Clearly looks just like where I live. It's so pretty. It's honestly, it's just so great. So I guess we have to just climb the lookout tower. Look at that, though. That's so cool. Ugh, I can't get over it. Turn on the power. Hey. Hello, yeah. Two Forks Tower. Oh. Hold left shift to activate the radio. Um, hello? Hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? Yeah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I... What, sleep? Forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Oh my god. You've killed three ex-husbands. I'm gonna do okay. that one. Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. <laughs> okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. But maybe you just really like trees. Maybe it's, gosh, maybe it's a borderline fetish. A tree fetish. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Welcome to the job. <laughs> Firewatch. All right. Wow. This is awesome. Day one. There's days? Okay. Good morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's, what, 6? 6? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? And do you what? Are those fucking fireworks? What? Where? Oh, shit. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Whoa. That's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set him straight. Like, kick the shit out of him sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. 
The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Cash box 306. So this way? I don't know where to go. Okay. <laughs> Guess I'll go this way. John C. Lake. Right, I guess I should go this way. I'm not sure though. I don't know where I'm really going, but alright. Damn, you can even hear the fireworks. Jesus, that's, that's definitely not good. <clears throat> Coming from that direction. Oh, uh, I see. I'm getting near 306 cash box. Oh, there it is. Deal with whoever is setting off the fireworks. Granola bar and a pine cone. Nope, oh, I just threw the granola bar. Oh, I was supposed to hold E, but alright. <laughs> How do I get to... Where the fuck's setting off the fireworks? Oh, I can jog, alright. Sounds like this way, according to my headphones. Honestly, not that sure, though. Oh, yep, there it is. Alright. This is a very large world, honestly, for a game like this. It's pretty awesome, though. Rope hook. Come on, man, you could do this without a rope. Oh, shit! Right. Oh, wait a second. Oh, no. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No. I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. I guess we just keep going. Where are the people with the fucking fireworks? Just gonna keep assuming it's this way. This way? Can't tell. Because I can also go this way. Where do I go? I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Hmm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. West. This way. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. Where's the lake? How's the lake? Okay, cool. Isn't that just a fucking fun? Alright, um, oh. 
No. Alright, I'm gonna go down this way then. What is that? They left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking great. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. But I guess that doesn't take into account just plain stupid, does it? Finding a bunch of empty beer cans, they threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feet away. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, uh, what if they're naked? <laughs> Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. A bra? Oh, shit, wrong button. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. I'm kind of scared to see what's going to happen. What? Another bra? Uh, there are, uh, panties. Panties? There are what? I don't want to say that word again. Why? Because you're 12? I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping? Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. Full cool stereo! Fucking cool it with the fireworks! Please just put it down. We won't light anymore. <laughs> you probably have a tiny dick. Ha, <laughs> that's true. It's my boombox. Here we go. Let's just look at the other side of the lake or something. Don't pull any more shit or you're fucked, alright? Don't threaten us. Yeah, who the hell are you, creep? Uh, he's just one of those lonely guys who likes your boss people around. Hey, just so you're aware. I confiscated your fireworks. Our fireworks? What? You did! Also, setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. That's so fucking bogus. Oh my god. You're gonna pay for that. Can we just get out of here? You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna take this boom box with me. Music's amazing. It's so good. I think the only way I can do this is by walking all the way to Jonasee Lake, all the way through Thunder Can Canyon River, and I have to go through a small cave by Cash 303, and then I take that trail back to the Two Forks Lookout. And guys, I'm going to do that in the next episode. Please do leave a like. Be sure to leave a like. And subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And comment down below some tips on how to get back to the Two Forks Lookout. I will see you guys later. Goodbye.